What's going on YouTube? It is your boy homie two chains and we're kicking it in the castle today. I want to discuss something with you guys. The most frequent question that I get asked, how do I make my money? So today we're going to dive into that. It's a method I like to call flipping an item for profit. We're going to look at a few ways to do it and we are going to discuss key items to do it with. So before we dive in this, I want to talk about a few things real quick. One being that this economy is always fluctuating. There is no set value for an item. There's no NPC that sells industrial washers for a set price and that is always going to be the price. So it's a negotiating trick you have to use with the buyer and the seller. And you have to find a number that when you're either buying or selling that you feel comfortable with. Of course, if you're buying, you always want to buy for a cheaper price. And when you're selling, you always want to squeeze a little bit more out and gain some more money. Second thing I want to talk about is pro rank. So what pro rank does is it gives you the option to publish your island so people can see it on a list and come to your shop. This negates you having to go into a public game or the discord trading channel and looking for really good deals or trying to find bulk buyers or find sellers that are selling for a really cheap price. It is a pay to win item in this method, but it will absolutely increase your revenue by so much. So if you can't afford pro rank or are willing to dish out, I think it's around $20 to get this item. Do realize you can still 100% make money. It's just going to be at a slower pace. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to jump into two key items that I suggest traders who are getting into this with small bankrolls. The first one being a berry seed and the second one being the in and output chest. The berry seed, there's two ways I would really go about doing this. One, invest some of your cash into making a big berry farm and farming your own seeds and then selling them that way. The other one would be buying at a low price and selling at a higher price. So as for me, I'm buying berry seeds at 6,000 and then in return, I sell them for 10,000. The other method that I would suggest for you guys is the medium chest into an input output chest. Now the medium chest, you guys can manually labor yourself by cutting the wood and waiting for the iron in a smelter. Either way, you can do it like that and save a little bit of cash and then sell it straight for the input output chest and 100% make a lot of cash off this. Or you can try to buy medium chests like I am and then sell it in return. So for you players out there with a bigger bankroll and want to skip that first part, you can absolutely dive straight into industrial smelters, industrial washing stations, and food processors. These three items are key items to make a lot of money. So there's two methods into doing this. One being you buy the item flat out, where you just pay for the item at a low price, you in return sell it for a higher price, you make a profit. The other method is a lot more complicated but you can make so much more money off of so we'll use the industrial smelter as our second method here as you see you can craft this item so crafting this item takes three pink sticky gears and eight steel rods if you harvest these raw materials yourself of course you'll make a huge profit but that's very time consuming so what i like to do is i like to buy these raw materials and then craft it and then sell the item as you see here, I buy pink sticky gears for 250,000. So I buy three of them for 750,000 and then I buy the steel rods myself as well. But do note, you can AFK farm the steel rods as well. You don't have to purchase them. So as you guys see, I buy my steel rods at 5,000 a piece. Eight of them is 40,000. So I'm investing about 800,000 into making an industrial smelter. And then I flip it for 2.5 mil, which is an insane amount of profit. If you do hundreds of these items a day, you'll gain so much money. So as you guys see here, vending machines are a huge hit. If you're trying to flip, this is a very common item that is bought and sold in my shop. I do use both methods, but do realize that for this item specifically, both methods cost me about the same, whether I buy the vending machine flat out at 300,000 or I use all of these three items right here to craft it, which I spend about 295,000 to craft one. And then in return, I sell them pretty constantly at 600,000. That seems like the price right now. I make a lot of money off these. It's only a 300,000 flip, but if you do 80, 100 at a time, you're making so much money. So really common item right now that is kind of got its way into a lower profit margin, but still makes quite a bit of profit is the title spell book. 
spell books i buy pages maybe a hundred thousand a piece three of them is three hundred thousand i make a spell book or i buy the spell book flat out at four hundred thousand and then i use two crystallized aquamarine which i pay a, nearly right now I'm about a million for so 2.4 mil is my total investment and then i flip it for 10 mil so i'm making close to 7.5 mil off of this flip right here another common one that i use right now is the vamp bow unfortunately the vamp bow is significantly decreasing in price as when the update first came out and it was released it was worth a lot now it's i'm making about 5.5 mil of an investment buying the ruby scorps thing the ancient slime strings and the maple wood and then crafting this and then selling it in return for about 15 mil right now it started about 50 mil and slowly been de decreasing to where i feel comfortable selling them really fast at 15 mil so I, i'm still making about a 10 mil profit off the vampo as well so hopefully i was able to share some information with you guys on how i make my money and you can take some of this advice and make it work for yourself and make millions and send me some pictures, some comments below in the video of how much money you've made. I have given this information out on my stream a few times and most of you guys have 100% come back and told me that you're making so much bank and it's working so, so well for you guys. Uh, if you're looking to find me, you can catch me, homie two Shanes. I am on the published pro server quite often. I stream every day sometimes twice a day depends on the day i do have a full shop where you can come and see what's going on and get a look for yourself i do like to consider myself a pretty decent builder uh, as of now i have just the castle the airship we have the birthday cake and just a couple things over there here and there some functional farms i do want to do a new series where we are going to be building your dream island so comment below if you'd like to be in that series positive vibes only if you do have some negative feedback and it's constructive criticism please post it let me know what i could do better this is my first youtube video i'm new into the editing department i am a twitch streamer i just started that as well i am now trying to wrangle all of these platforms and try to become a youtuber and a twitch streamer at the same time it is so complicated so shout out to you guys for all the love that you guys have shown me on twitch it's been an absolutely amazing ride make sure you give a thumbs up a like and a subscribe to this video and to this channel and i will 100 percent be doing some series with you guys coming in the future stay blessed positive vibes and have a great day